Are you a fresh grad or young adult who have just graduated and stepping into the corporate world? And if you are thinking of applying a credit card to reward your spending, in this video I'll be talking about two credit cards which is suitable for fresh grads and young adults who may just be starting out their careers. And I hope you will benefit from this video. Coming up. Okay guys, welcome back to the Honey Money SG channel. My name is Christopher and today I'm going to talk about credit card. Okay, so for those young adults who don't know what the credit card is for, it's basically a financial product that allows you to borrow money from a financial institution to pay for goods and services to merchants that accepts credit card as a form of payment. So essentially, it is a borrowing and will reward spending but will incur interest charges if there are late payments to the card. So credit card can be broadly classified into two different categories, cashback and reward. Rewards. And then in the rewards section, we can further classify them into miles and points. But today the focus is on cashback credit cards. Okay, but why cashback credit cards? So how a cashback credit card works is that if you spend a certain amount, the credit card company will give you a certain percentage of your spending back. So that can range in a range of 1% to as high as 10%. So imagine you're paying something for $10. If you get a 10% cashback, you are essentially getting back $1. Sounds like a pretty good deal, right? Of course, you have to read the terms and conditions of each credit card very carefully because there may be certain requirements to be met in order to meet that amount of cashback. And so, why cashback credit card for young adults and fresh grads? At this stage of life, this group of people do not have much commitments, like having a family and having kids to feed. So naturally, their money expenses are not that high compared to families which have children. So typically, we are looking at around $300 to $500 of spending per person. And if we were to use a $300 monthly spending to actually go and earn rewards, you will take a really long time to earn enough rewards to actually cash out be it miles, vouchers, or any other kind of benefit in the rewards category. So as not to waste time and effort chasing those things that you may not achieve within a short time and face the risk of expiry, I think a cashback card is more suitable for this group of people. And one more thing is COVID-19. If you remember, we are in a pandemic season right now and we probably can't travel within the next one or even two years. So cash in hand will actually come in more handy in this period compared to miles. With that said, let's look at the two cards that I'm going to discuss about today. Before we go into the specifics, a like button at the bottom of the YouTube video will be beneficial to this channel. Okay, I want to introduce this product from Standard Chartered, the Standard Chartered Unlimited card and the Standard Chartered Spree card. Let's talk about the common factors first. So both of these cards are cashback credit cards and they are entitled to a one-year annual fee waiver. So you don't have any upfront charges when you apply for this card. Firstly, let's talk about the SC Unlimited Cashback Credit Card. So this is a simple no frills card, 1.5% on any retail spend that you spend on. So for example, if you spend $100 today at fair price, you'll get $1.50 back at the end of your statement period. And the cashback cap is unlimited. So that means you can even spend up to a $10,000 level and you will get that 1.5% cashback. But do note to spend within the eligible category. There are some exclusions as listed in the terms and conditions. Items like prepaid wallets, paying to financial institutions, advanced credit payments, all these are common items that are all excluded. Okay, next let's look at the SC Spree card. This is like a level 2 version of the SC Unlimited credit card. So you get about 3% cashback on your online foreign currency spend. That includes your e-commerce merchants like Amazon, iHerb or AliExpress and also 2% on online local spend. So typically any of your online retail merchants like your food delivery or your e-commerce sites like Lazada, Shopee, Q10. What's more, there's 2% cashback if you use it on PayWave and mobile contactless payments. So you can actually save this card into your Apple Pay or your Google Pay wallet so that when you tap and pay with the PayWave function, you get that 2% cashback. And then for any other kind of retail spend like your card swiping or any other eligible categories which are not listed, you'll get 1% cashback. Okay, so similarly, there are some exclusions to the transaction types that are listed here. And also take note that the Spree card has a cashback limit of $60. So that means that if you go above the $60 of cashback, your further purchases will not be entitled to any further cashback. So comparing these two cards, I would say that if you have both of these cards, try to use your Spree card first and once you hit the cap, you can then use your SC Unlimited because the Spree card offers a much higher level of cashback. And also I want to talk about the benefits of these two cards. There are no minimum spending requirements for these cards to achieve that level of cashback so you don't have to like spend minimum $300 or $500 a month in order to get that cashback like some other cards do so very suitable for fresh grads and young adults which may not have that much high spending power and you can also apply for this card online easily 
with my info and your digital card will be ready for use almost immediately which you can then save it into your Apple Pay wallet or your Google Pay wallet to make payments for both your online and your offline retail purchases. Now Standard Charter is currently running a sign up promotion up till 31st of March so you'll get a sign up bonus of $128 if you use my description link below but please do refer to the terms and conditions it is only eligible for new card holders so if you have an existing Standard Chartered credit card you will not be entitled to this offer okay and then the terms and conditions says that the offer will come in two parts you'll get the first $80 within the 30 days of activating the card and the remaining $48 will come within 60 working days of the card activation date so if you don't hold any standard chartered credit card right now I think it is a good time to apply for this card and also for people who worry about annual fees of credit card if you look at one of my earliest videos here you can actually request for a fee waiver after one year of your credit card by calling them or sending them a secured message so don't worry too much about annual fees at most cancel the card after one year if you really do not want to use it anymore one more thing being a financial knowledge channel do not go for impulsive purchases and think that you get all the cash back for spending so much money don't be penny wise and pound foolish chasing cashback make sure that it is those stuff that you already want to buy and those are your needs rather than your wants and make sure you pay your credit card on time if not the interest charges will balloon up and eat up your money okay so if you have enjoyed this video today i appreciate your time and check out my other videos in my channel do like and share this video to your friends and family if you find this useful and subscribe to the channel if you haven't who knows you may find more useful information for yourself thank you and have a great day ahead i'll see you guys on the next one